In this video, I'm gonna be breaking down a tip that will help you, I think in a lot of ways, bag the bunch meta. Um, it's one of the most important adjustments that you can make against bunch this year, uh, especially if you're trying to stop the solo receiver. This tip is really, really valuable. Okay, so if you want to learn my entire match defensive ebook, make sure that you join our Patreon. It's only 10 bucks to sign up for the um, for for the Patreon, and it gets you access to all of our ebooks. We have a full ebook devoted to teaching you the principles of match defense. And we're gonna be showing you kind of a, a simple adjustment that you can make, actually not from a match defense, but it does have matching principles within it that I think are really, really valuable. So with that in mind, I'm gonna come out and play Pat Sale out of New England. Like I said, if you wanna learn all of the stuff around this defense, I've got a whole nickel over ebook out as well. We've got 10 or um, nine offensive and defensive ebooks out in the Patreon, uh, and we have a 10th one dropping this week. So if you wanna check that out, again, link is down in the description. We're gonna come out and play cover one hole. Basically, you just wanna come out in any play that is not match. So cover three sky, cover one hole, cover two, those are not match plays, so we're coming out and cover one hole. So what we're gonna do is we are going to show you, first and foremost, what's hard about this is like, let's say we wanted to set up a pressure on the rock, like we wanna set up a pressure and we wanna do something like this, and you know, we wanna to try to like force the issue, right? So we're gonna try to get sack. Well, the problem is if they're a smart player, they know that they can put a C route over here on the left side. And a lot of times the C route will kind of basically just torch um, torch this coverage, as you saw right there. So the solution to stopping the C route is basically this. We're gonna put an outside third over here. Well, if they're a smart player and they're mixing up their play calls, chances are they're going to, you know, put a post out there occasionally and now you're in a position where your post route is gonna get open over the middle. As you can see there, it got open. The outside third didn't really do what I wanted him to do. He didn't take this away by any means, and I'll show it again here. Because he's doing what? Well, he's playing an outside third, right? So if they block this guy and then they, you know, we don't send six or if whatever, right? What you should see here is they're gonna be able to kind of throw that right there and honestly like if they have let's say that they're not let's say they're running pittsburgh's playbook uh where they have like the the bunch trail uh skinny post and just for illustration purposes we're gonna not blitz here just to show you the whole whole deal you know but let's say they do something like this um i'm gonna put the hot route master skinny post out there you know and then maybe they do like a little concept like this or whatever this is basically bunch trail um of course, I butchered my setup here. Uh, but anyway, you know, they're gonna do something like, like this to the right, okay? But just watch the post. So you'll see here the third, he he actually matches onto it okay in this example, but he really doesn't do that a lot. Um, and that's actually a, kind of a rare thing, especially if he is um, backed off. So like here, you should see an example of what I'm saying. See how that skinny post is wide open? See what I'm saying? So you you can't stop the C route in the skinny post with the same adjustment, and that's the problem. Uh, so I wanted to give you kind of my tip on uh, a potential solution that I found that I think is really, really good. Instead of putting him on an outside third, we're going to put him on an outside quarter zone, and then we're going to back him up. So you see here, outside quarter, we're going to back him up in what you should see is if he runs this post, you'll see that these outside quarters have a built-in match principle within it. So you see now he is in the area to be able to make a play on the on that route, okay? Now, not only is he in the area to make a play on that route, but he's also in the area to make a play on the C route. So you'll see here, this is the C route. Now in that example, he got cooked. Okay. He got absolutely cooked. So how do we fix that? Well, we got a couple of choices, uh, but it's really simple. We got basically two choices. We can either shade inside or we can shade outside. Okay. Those are basically the two choices. We're going to shade him outside because he got beat outside. And what you'll see here is he still gets kind of cooked, but honestly, like he's still kind of in the area. 
And if you run a little bit more of a, you know, kind of standardized, let me see, let me show you this. You'll see. So let's say that I press him up and I shade outside. Now he's still in position for the other thing, but you see, watch this. See how he guards that pretty well. Like that's pretty well. And 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 they're not gonna be able to complete that 100% of the time. Um, you know, and I'm, I'm just telling you right now, like that, that's fairly covered. Like it's fairly covered. It's gonna be a thing for them to throw that. However, let me show you something else though. Let's say that he runs um, the skinny post. We're shading outside, remember? Uh, so we're going to put him on that skinny post. And what you'll see here is my guy will still run stride for stride with him down that side. And right there, I could have clicked on SWAT or tried to make a play on the ball. So my point is basically, if you quarter this guy and shade outside, I find that to be fairly effective. Um, if you do manually back him up, I think it's a little better than just not you'll see here i will say the backed up stuff is that was actually pretty sticky that was actually pretty sticky so you can you can kind of mess with that okay i'm not gonna like sit here and say it works every time to just back him off the the benefit of backing him off is if he ever like he's never gonna get burned over the top and that's kind of the the deal so like if they streak this guy what you should should see see how so and again this is obviously mike evans but you see how he got that instant instant win, okay? So obviously, if you have a better corner there, you know, better better press rate and all that stuff, you're not going to get that as much. But I, I'm just trying to show you that you can basically manually back this guy off, and he'll still be okay. He won't be like perfect on the C route, but he'll be good enough that enough times if they throw this, um, you see there he's kind of driving on it. He's not terrible. Uh, but he can definitely handle the post route. So if you're ever getting someone that's running, you know, a lot of concepts, uh, a lot of concepts to like Mike Evans or the solo receiver and bunch, to me, this is one of the better adjustments in the game. Um, actually, I think I've been shading inside. I might have been shading inside this whole time. Here, let me try to shade outside. You'll see here. There you go. Perfect. Plays it really well. So um, I think I might have been shading inside the whole time, which would explain why he was cooking him so much. Um, <laughs> ironically uh but anyways when you shade him outside he still plays the post unlike a, an outside third and that's the that's the real big thing now again you get kind of in that at the, in that deal so just kind of be wise with that wise with your shading uh but i am telling you right now that this is one of the better adjustments that you can make against the c route in bunch and it's going to force them to have to go to other stuff um, you know, probably a post on the backside or a dig, but he will still drive on the dig. So you see here, watch, here's the dig. See how he drives on that dig route right there? That's huge. And you don't get that if it's an outside third. You just don't get that. So really like this adjustment for Bunch. And if you want to learn more stuff like this, make sure you're in our Patreon. We got nine eBooks, 10 uh, eBooks after next week. We're going to leave some brand new one this week. So a lot of good stuff over there if you want to sign up. Link is down in the description below. Thanks for watching the video. And that is how you can uh, use an outside quarter to really handle the solo receiver. And you can apply this to other sets that have a solo receiver as well, by the way. So thanks for watching. And uh, again, if you want to join the Patreon, link is down in the description. So go down, hit that link, and hopefully we'll see you over at the Patreon page.